hi guys and welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is going to be on um, black smoky eyes with a pop of color and nude lips and just showing you how to get the glow that my model has got in this little clip so if you'd like to see how I achieved this look then please keep watching so I'm starting off by applying a tape to the edges um, of her eyes so I can achieve a clean edge I do tend to apply makeup on clients the way I apply it on myself so I'm applying a black gel liner all over the eyelids as a base and I'm using the Motis Cosmetics primer brush to apply the base all over the eyelids taking the eye catching crease brush and using the color fudge from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, World Traveler palette. I'm just using this to blend the color in the crease area. So this bit is really important and it is time consuming. Um, I did speed up quite a lot because I was blending for quite a long time. So you do need to be patient with it. Taking the shade Noir from the same palette, I just apply this all over the, um, the eyelid to set the gel eyeliner. You can use any matte black shadow and you just want to make sure that you go back into the crease and you blend it out using the same um, crease blending color so that is the fudge shade from the um, ABH World Traveler palette. Taking a concealer buffer brush I'm just blending out the edges of the crease because I've got I've got the color well blended in the crease but as you can see above the crease it isn't blended so I'm just using this brush to buff it out and to make it look smoother and give it a nice gradient taking the shade Bellini from the same palette I'm just applying this as the brow highlight and then I'm making sure to blend it in with the crease color and that is also a really important step so here I'm just applying um, orange corrector underneath the eyes the palette I'm using is by MAC and it's the um, studio fix concealer palette that they've got and then I'm applying the concealer in the shade NC 45 all over the areas that has the orangey bits on so it does look a bit darker than her skin tone here but the trick to this is to blend it so taking a beauty blender you just want to push the product into the skin and blend downwards so as you can see it does fade into her skin and it looks nice and it looks smooth here I'm just applying her foundation all over her skin and I'm using the same damp beauty blender that I used to apply the concealer underneath her eyes I will leave the names of all the products that have been used in the description bar below just because I can't remember every single one of them right now and I'm just using the beauty blender to push the product into the skin and blend it while applying it so this will just make sure that it lasts all day and it just makes it look a bit more natural so I'm applying the highlight here I'm using um, a concealer that's two shades lighter I can't remember I think it's NC30 um, and I'm just applying this using the makeup addiction brush this brush is called the queen I'm just applying it underneath the hat um, yeah. <laughs> applying it underneath the eye um, in like a V shape dragging it right up to like the edge of her temples um, and I'm also gonna apply it on her forehead apply it down the bridge of her nose and also her chin and on the cupid's bow and then going to go back and blend it all out using a um, the same damp beauty blender just pushing the product into the skin and blending it in with her foundation Using the Makeup Addiction Concealer Brush, I'm applying the contour shade to the cheekbones, um, well, the hollows of her cheeks and around her forehead. Um, I'm using the Motifs Color Quad in Dark, one of the darker shades in that quad, and I'm using that to contour her face. Using a MLTD brush, 
I'm using this to blend out the contour shade um, and I'm setting that using a bronzer by MAC. So here I'm just highlighting underneath the contoured area just to bring out the contour a little bit more and just to give a little bit more definition to um, her cheekbones and then again just blending that out using the same damp beauty blender. Using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I'm just using the powder contour, I'm not sure what the shade is but I'll leave it in the description bar and I'm just using this to set the highlighted areas. Um, and the brush I'm using is an angled brush by BH Cosmetic. So I'm just lightly contouring her nose using one of the darker powders from the kit. Um, just because we didn't want a strong nose contour. So it's just a subtle, barely there. And now I'm setting the entire face using Max Mineral Light Skin Finish in medium dark. So the blush that we're using today is called Gentle by MAC. So to apply blush you want to start off lightly and then build it up, that way um, there's no risk of applying too much because you start off slow and build it up rather than packing a lot on and trying to blend it out because that is a lot harder to do. So just applying the same shade um, for the crease, the fudge, and just applying this underneath the eye using a pencil brush by Makeup Addiction. Um, and just blending that out using the pencil brush, just making it a soft smoke. The highlighter we're using today is by MAC and it's called, um, well, it's MAC Gold Deposit. And just applying that on the highest point of the cheekbones using a fan brush. To highlight the tear duct area, we're using the shade um, Metal from the Anastasia palette. If that's not right, I will leave the right shade in the description bar, I promise. To finish up, just apply any nude lipstick and a darker lip liner to define your lips. So here is the finished look, um, a little before and after for you, um, just so you can see a comparison. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to see more videos in this sort of format using the model, please let me know in the comment section and if you prefer it the way I normally do it by showing you on myself, also just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and if you have any requests for me, also leave that in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!